Hi, fourth grade. Today we're going to be working on Au Clair de la Lune, measures three and four. That would be, if you count from the beginning, one, two, three, and then the last measure of that first line. So the last two measures of that first line. And we're playing G, B, A, A, G. And our goal today is to get these fingers to move in time hitting the correct notes, right? And moving them to, to move between those notes. So from G to B, lifting up our ring finger and our middle finger, and then going back down to A, which is just thumb one and two, A, and then throwing that ring finger back on for G. And sometimes this ring finger is a little bit pesky and won't come up when we need it to. Anyways, measures three and four sound like this. So let's try that. We're just going to finger along and I'm going to sing those notes for you. So let's try that. Just finger along and sing those notes. Ready and G P A A G. And that last note should be held for four counts because it's a whole note. So we want to make sure if we're singing it or we're playing it, that we keep that air moving for four counts. Let's do that one more time. Moving your fingers. You can sing along if you want, or you can just listen to me. That's fine. Ready and G B A A G. And make sure again, left hand's up top, right hand supports that bottom. So now I want us to play. Just G, B, and get your fingers moving. Try that. Ready, G, B. Good. Do it again. Ready, go. Now we're going to add G, B, A, and add the A. Ready, and. Now all we need to do, all we need to do left is add that other A in for that third measure. So we have G, B, A, A. Try that, ready, and. Very nice. And the last thing we need to do is add in measure four, which is that four count whole note of G. So let's put that together, G, B, A, A, G, ready, and. And that is measures three and four. So I would love it if you would take a, uh, some practice time with that, measures three and four. And try and put measures one, two, three, and four together. Because next week we're going to go through the whole song. And if you notice the second line, it's exactly the same as the first. So if we can get through that first line, we can play the whole song. So we're going to be starting that next week. All right. Best of luck. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you, fourth grade.